Hi everyone, it's Mrs. McPhee here with you today. I'm the lucky one that gets to do some at-home Hegarty with you. And I know that Mrs. Gallagher has been working very hard to help you practice your letters and sounds at home. All right, let's get straight into it. We're going to start with some rhyme work. And I'm going to give you two words. I want you to listen to those two words. And if you think they rhyme, give me a thumbs up. If you think they don't rhyme, thumbs down. Are you ready? Pig, big. Thumbs up. Wag, win. Thumbs down. Sun, slid. They don't run. Tap, map. Rhyming. Bus, see. They don't run. Well done. Great start. Okay, for our next activity, we're going to listen for the beginning sound in the words that I give you. And I want you to call back the beginning or the first sound that you hear in each word. Okay. Itch. I is the first word. First sound, sorry. Touch. T is the first sound. Opportunity. O oh, is the first sound. Apple. A is the first sound. And ostrich. O oh, is the first sound. Good on you. Okay, let's move on to our next activity. And I'm going to get my choppers out for this activity because I want you, well, actually, I'm going to chop out some sounds in words and then I want you to blend them back together and say the word at at m i my l e li d o do ape ape t i tie b e b z u zoo n o no. D A. Day. Great blending. Okay, you're doing so well. Let's keep up the great work. Now we're going to be listening for the middle sounds in words, and I'm going to use my roller coaster action to help us figure out what that middle sound is. So we're going to listen for the beginning sound, the middle sound, and the N sound. But I just want you to call out what that middle sound is that you hear. Okay, ready for the first word. L -i -d. Lid, the middle sound is I in lid. S -a -t. The middle sound is A. Mm, I. The middle sound in miss is i. K -i -d. Kid. The middle sound in kid is i. P -i -n. Yeah, the middle sound is i. Nice work. Okay, for our next activity, you're going to be the chopper. So I'm going to say a word and you're going to chop out the sounds in the word. So your first word is we. 
w e. So. S o. Bye. B i. Pay. P a. Me. M e. Up. Up. Hey. H a. App. App. Row. R o. And our last one is lie. L I. Okay, let's move on to our next one. I'm going to say the end part of a word, which is called the rhyme. And then I'm going to add a beginning sound to make a word. I want you to call out the word that you can make when I put the end and the beginning sound together. Okay. All right. Remember that the ending sound or the, is called the rhyme. N, add V. Then, Ip, add D. Dip, Ag, add W. Wag, Ig, add P. Pig, It, Add h. Hit. Fantastic. You are doing fantastic work today. Okay, are we ready? We're moving through this very quickly. Uh, this time I'm going to say a word and then I'm going to take away a sound and you're going to tell me what's left of the word. So you need to listen carefully. Okay, so I'm going to give you the word and I'm going to take a sound away. The word is mad, take away without the m. Mm. Add. The word is pick without the p. Ick. The word is fan without the f. An. The word is hill without the h. Ill. The word is nap without the n. App. Okay, you're doing a great job. Now we get to do something fun where we substitute sounds. So we're going to start with the sound together and then we're going to change some of the sounds. You better turn over to the next page. This is our last page of okay, Higgity. Right. Your word is dig. Change d to b. Big. Your word is bat. Change b to r. Rat. The word is lip. Change l to s. Sip. The word is can. Change k to t. Tan. The word is ham. Change h to j. Jam. Great substituting of sounds. It's time for our nursery rhyme. I'm going to say a line from a nursery rhyme and I want you to say it back to me. And we're going to do a favourite today, Humpty Dumpty. Maybe some of you remember already how to say that rhyme. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty 
Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Fantastic. We've got one activity left now, which is our letters and sounds. And I know that you've been practicing those in your classes and this week with Mrs. Gallagher. Remember, we say the letter and the sound, all the sounds for those letters. Okay, I'll hold these up. I might have to move the camera a little bit. Okay. The letter is A and the sounds are A and A. The letter is U and the sounds are A and U. The letter is O and the sounds are O and O. The letter is I and the sounds are I and I. The letter is E and the sounds are E and E. The letter is Y and the sounds are Y and E and I. The letter is X and the sound is X. The letter is Z and the sound is Z. The letter is H and the sound is H. The letter is L and the sound is U. The letter is F and the sound is F. The letter is B and the sound is B. The letter is R and the sound is R. The letter is N and the sound is N. The letter is P and the sound is P. The letter is G and the sounds are G or J. The letter is V and the sound is V. The letter is M and the sound is M. The letter is K and the sound is K. The letter is D and the sound is D. The letter is J and the sound is J. The letter is C and the sound is K or S. The letter is Q and the sound is K. And when it has Q and U together, it makes Q. The letter is W and the sound is W. The letter is T and the sound is T. The letter is S and the sound is S. That's it for Hegarty today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and you enjoy your learning. Make sure that you have some time to have a bit of fun though today. Thank you. Bye.